Welcome, welcome to another fantastic edition of what I like to call OCG Thursday. For those of you that might be new on this channel, make sure you turn on those notifications and find out why we love doing this segment. Because every Thursday, we have to talk about the OCG, whether or not it's some crazy antics that they're cooking, or it's just something a little bit cooler than normal. And this week, we're going to be starting things off with what appears to be a new Necroz deck. And for those of you that don't know, the new incantation support came out, so everybody out there is going to be looking to try this new bad boy. Being able to reveal it in your hand at the cost of discarding a card and potentially taking 2,500 life points. During the end phase, if you do not summon a ritual monster, you get to just special summon an incantation monster from your deck. Like... This is everything that any Ritual deck ever needed, and oh my gosh, amazing support at that. Now I know the average Duelist out there is probably like, Well Robbie, we don't have Shrit. That's fine. That's why this is called OCG Thursday. And the chance that we get to look at the fun things that are going on in the OCG. And of course this deck is also playing Pot of Indulgence. So at the start of your main phase 1, banish 3 or 6 face down cards from your extra deck randomly face down to draw one card for each three cards banished. And then for the rest of this turn out this card resolves, you cannot draw cards by card effects. I think this is one of the only few decks in the format that I can see actually taking advantage of something like this. Now I know a lot of people can be like, do I really care about my extra deck? No. Um, you're playing higher ratios of things to kind of compensate for the want for you to play this card. And I think it's kind of cool to kind of see where the synergy and stuff lies with something like this, especially going forward into the current game of Yu-Gi-Oh! So, without further ado, let's dig on into this bad boy. So we have two copies of Ash Blossom, two copies of the book. Um, the book allows you to choose this one that recurs target ritual monster in your graveyard, add it back to your hand. That's what I like to see. And then, of course, the two big searchers. Um, this one adds a ritual spell from your deck. This one adds a ritual monster from your deck to your hand. All of which all have special summon clauses. I don't actually, or I can't actually believe that they actually made these cards. Um, they had to do something to make ritual be, ritual monsters better. I think that they did it a little too well. Now this deck's only playing two Manju. Uh, this feels a little bit awkward to me, actually. I didn't think there would actually be a time where I would only see two Manjus in a deck, but this guy did it. And of course, two copies of Maxi, and then three Shrit. Um, if you ritual summon exactly one Necroz monster with card effect, this guy can be the whole tribute, and then you can add a Warrior Necroz ritual monster from your deck to your hand. So the cool thing was you could go search for things like Brionic. Now, this deck is also playing one Zobborg, the Mega Monarch. Um, I actually find that this is pretty cool. Um, being able to use this as a means to kind of extend your plays um, is actually pretty cool. Um, just, you get so much extra deck value out of this. And then, of course, or two Chalice Mine. Once again, that beautiful extender the deck now has. Two Brionic as Searchers. Triple Colossal is for spell searching. One Decisive Armor. Two Trishula. One Unicorn. And, of course, two Valkyrias. And then this deck is playing two Called by the Grave. One copy of Necroz Cycle. Two Kaleidoscope. Two Necroz Mirror. Triple of the New Pot. Triple Preparation. One Reinforcement of the Army. And triple Infinite Impermanence. And then, of course, down here... In the extra deck, we have two Nyarla, one Azathoth, one Dweller, one Star Eater, one Heart Archfiend, Red Dragon Archfiend King Calamity, triple of the Herald for searching, one Tiara, one Five Headed Dragon, triple Inst, and one Ultimate Barbaroid. Then, of course, we have one Dunko Rekka, triple Prankatops, one Maxi, two Skullmeister, two copies of Shared Red, triple Red Reboot, and of course, Triple Typhoon. I do think that for a ritual based deck, this is probably one of the ones that I was most excited for getting a line of support. Now, we have no idea when the TCG is going to get shrit or if we're even going to ever see this card be free again, but I think nonetheless that this was a pretty cool, just generalized support that every deck got. Now, moving on along, other cool things that the OCG is trying right now. Goki is out here trying out the new hero monster. Now, for those of you that don't know, when this card is normal summon, you can special summon one Neospatial monster or one elemental hero Neos from your hand or deck in defense position. You tribute this card, target one Neospatial or one elemental hero monster or elemental hero Neos in your graveyard. Special summon it. This guy gets you access to Aqua Dolphin. And we've already kind of seen how broken 
Aqualad was uh, in past tournaments. And I, I think just having a means to kind of accelerate the process to get to him is pretty crazy. Like, Gogi's already a degenerate deck as it is. But what happens when you make it one, one step worse? Well, they did it. I definitely think it's kind of cool that this deck has gotten this much support, but still it's a degenerate combo deck at the end of the day, and you guys know how we have to feel about those. We weren't supposed to not like them. So this is new OCG combo Goki, starring 100% more Dark Frankenderp with 100% more Teleport and one Psychic Wheeler because, well, control level 3 Psychic Monster, we could just special summon this guy. So, combos for days. So we have two copies of Ash Blossom, of course, very standard. One copy of Steam the Cloak for the token generation. One copy of our friend Crusadia Arborea. One Dandelion. One Frankenderp. One Glow Bulb. One Headbat. One Octo Stretch. One, two copies of Suprex. One Twist Cobra. One Jet Synchron. One Junk Forward. One Nightmare Corruptor Ibley. Triple Math Man, Triple Connector, one Neospatian Aqua Dolphin, one Psychic Wheeler, one Takum Tambork, two Terror Tops, Triple Cold by the Grave, one Phoenix Blade, one two Teleports, one Foolish Barrel, one Goki Rematch, one Living Fossil, one Monster Reborn, one Rota, one Soul Charge, and Triple Red Reboot. And then the extra deck on here, one Topological Gumblar Dragon, one Link Karibo, one Unicron, one Phoenix, one Mermaid, one Gobbly, one Cerberus, one Isolde, one Firewall, one Needle Fiber, one Big Yes. Remember, this is a one step um, monster, so you can make this to trigger the Firewall with Arborea. It's kind of cute. One Equimax, one Chirabini, one Boral Sword, and one Invoker. Also, the fact that you have access to this in your deck is incredibly cute. <laughs> like, just the little, the little shit that you can actually do is really cute. And then, what is this, you ask? Ah, it is time. This is for hire. I will say, I love this deck. I think it's cute. Uh, now that the TCG finally has this guy, a lot of people are going to be asking, well, what do I do? Uh, what do we do with the deck? Where are we going? Well, it's finally time to answer that question. And this is OCG for hire. Now, this deck does put a lot more stuff on the board. It does do a lot more crazy things. Understand that. The OCG is a really, really weird place. And I think the more people play this, uh, you'll understand that For Hire is a degenerate spam deck and about to be the meta in Duel Links because of current limitations. So this is current OCG For Hire. So we have two copies of Ash Blossom, triple copies of Blade For Hire, one copy of Bravo For Hire, one Dandelion, triple Donpa Marksman for Hire, two Ghost Ogre, one Glow Bulb, one copy of Helmer, Helmsman for Hire, one Judd Synchron, one Nightmare Corruptor Ibley, triple Math Man, triple Maxi, one copy of Raphael, Champion, one Steel the Strategist, one Takam Tumborg, and two Terror Top Spells. We have triple Call by the Grave, one Emergency Teleport, one Feather Duster, two Instant Fusion, one Monster Reborn, one Soul Charge, two Twin Twisters, and two Solemn Judgment. In the extract, we have one Link Karibo, one Unicron, one Phoenix, one Mermaid, one Gobbly, one Cerberus, two Full Gold Justice for Hire. Being able to just search for any, or search in special, whatever the hell you want is so good. One Firewall, one Needle Fiber, one Sherabini, one Boral Sword, one TG Wonder Magician, one Thousand Eyes, one Theseus, two Effect Veiler, two Ghost Bell, two Dark Hole, two Shared Ride, two Anti-Spell, two Evenly, one in Pre-Order, and two Infinite Impermanence, wrapping up this week's OCG Thursday. We'll say things are pretty interesting in the OCG right now. They've got a lot of crazy things that they can kind of mess with, um, especially now with the new Ritual support. I think with the new Ritual support, now more so than ever, it's important to understand the cute plays that the OCG actually has access to now. And I wouldn't be afraid to play in the OCG, but you just have to understand, like, things are a little bit crazy. So when your opponent's comboing you and you're like, oh, no, I didn't draw the maxi, then that's when, you know, it's time to pack it up and go cry. So got to give them that. Remember, tomorrow is Market Watch, the best damn day on this channel, honestly. Um, I think sometimes we put more effort into the Tuesday Market Watch. 
But we do have an official set release tomorrow, so that's pretty good. All right, guys. Peace out. The ride never ends, guys. Make sure you enable those notifications to get the latest videos that are being posted on this channel. Make sure you guys check out Van Cole 40 for my Card Fight Vanguard channel. And join me and House of Champions on the Zodiac Duelist TV Twitch stream. I will be interacting with our audiences. And please check out No Limit Gaming and LGTCG.com for the cheapest trading cards on the market. Thanks for watching, guys, and please have a good day.